D.C. Call Jersey Central at 732-545-9282. Toll free at 888-545-9282. Watch Jersey Central live online at WCTCAM.com or listen on your smartphone with the iHeartRadio or TuneIn apps. Connect with WCTC on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube by searching 1450 WCTC. And now back to Jersey's Morning Show. Jersey Central with Burt Barrett. 737 back on Jersey Central on the new talk radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. Somerset Patriots baseball tickets. Going to give away a family four-pack to opening night, which is Thursday, April 21st. We'll give those away sometime between now and 8 o'clock. And our special in-studio guests who will be here for the 8 o'clock hour talking about the highly anticipated film, Who's Jenna, which is going to be having its premiere next month. We're going to meet some people, the director, some of the actors will all be here. And we'll do that for you coming up in the 8 o'clock hour. Let's get right to the Rare Tomei Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline. Barry Blank uh, from National Estate Jewelers, who joins us uh, every Tuesday at this time, a feature that we call What's It Worth? So let's uh, welcome Barry back to WCTC. Good morning, Barry Blank. How are you, sir? Good morning, Bert Barron. Good to talk to you. Before we uh, talk about uh, some things that are going on, uh, 40 years ago this month, the world was cursed with the $2 bill. Aren't we lucky? Aren't we lucky? And you know what that $2 bill is worth? I'm going to guess somewhere around... um, $2? $2. Two dollars. Two dollars. That's it, right? And they're still in circulation. You come across them every once in a while, right? Matter of fact, matter of fact, it was April thirteenth, twenty years ago. It had to be a Friday the thirteenth. I don't remember actually, <laughs> but it was on my birthday because my wow. birthday is tomorrow. Well, uh, early happy birthday to you, and uh, well, hopefully you. no one will give you a card with a two dollar bill in it. But uh, well, if they do, I know what I'll do with it. That's right. That's right. I kept one in in my uh, in my safe deposit box for so many years before I got into this industry because I thought it was going to be value cause, valuable because it had a stamp, an American stamp on it. That's right. And and it said April thirteenth. What was that date? Nineteen seventy. It was more than twenty years ago. Yeah. At any rate, but at any rate, um, and then I finally realized it had no value except that it was given to me by my parents on April thirteenth. So that made it worth. Millions of hugs and kisses. Of course, absolutely. Worth keeping it for right there. Yeah. Uh, gold on the move. Uh, uh, nearly it's uh, it's high for the year yesterday, right? Right, for, right, right. We have no, you know, I, nobody even knows why. I mean, all of a sudden, it was 1262 yesterday, and um, it went up like $20, $30 an ounce. And we don't even know why. I mean, nobody knows why. Except the people that think they know why. I and guess, you know. They're, it's, it's, right, they're right 50% of the time. It's either going to go up or down or, or not do anything. Right. How about the coin market, Barry? Coins are, are pretty hot right now. Is it better to get a handle on the value of a coin than it is than gold prices? Well, coins coins are easily valued in, in the common varieties. Like diamonds, however, the rare the rare coins, we do certify them through, through uh, independent uh, grading co- companies. So we have the NGC, uh, and we have PCGS as the two predominant um, uh, 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 grading companies. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the thing is, you don't want to grade every coin because some coins, it, it costs thirty five about $35 to grade a coin, and, and what they call sealing it in plastic or slabbing it. And that's more than the value of most silver dollars today, So uh, even though they're over 100 years old. Gotcha. So you, you don't want to just go paying money to have them uh, graded. Right. You know, you go, go to an expert and, and have somebody tell you, should my coin be graded? Yeah. All right. So let's move from gradles, uh, gradings uh, to uh, appraisals. And uh, why should someone have their values uh, appraised, Barry? Everybody's got reasons to have an appraisal, right? Right. A hundred percent true. There are, there are a few main reasons to have an appraisal. And, you know, the fo- most most important reason to have an appraisal for, for most people is that um, we need we need to know uh, that if we lo- if our item is lost or stolen or damaged, what it would cost to replace it, and this also helps for the insurance company to uh, to tell you what you will get for it. Um, and secondly, uh, if you uh, in death or in divorce, which we hate that word, but it happens. Um, all the people involved need a uh, call it a jumping off point or a point at which we can use to value your item so we can split it up equitably so everybody's happy or happy we can be and the another reason is IRS reasons 
was the was the um, item donated? Was it given as a gift to somebody? Was it of such a value that it needed a, an evaluation so that the IRS can say, well, you received this gift worth X amount of dollars, and what would it trade at in a common market, also known as fair market value? And the lastly, it may or may not aid you in selling and evaluating your things for sale. Please note that there's no real exact formula that will translate appraised value into how much an item will sell for. These, these vary depending on markets. Um, roughly, in an, a normal retail appraisal, you're going to get 10 to 30 percent of its appraised value, not 50 percent, which is what most people think. Gotcha. And I think there's another component as to why an appraisal is important. Uh, number one, it can prove possession at some point. It means that uh, this painting, this item, this uh, rare find was actually in your possession on the date that the appraisal was done. And that can kind of come in handy somewhere down the road also to prove that oh. something actually existed. Correct, 100%, because appraisers are unbiased of individuals who have no financial interest in the object they're appraising. So, therefore, they've come, you've either gone, either gone to them or they've come to you, and they've stated that they've physically seen your item, and that for, for any kind in the future evidence in, ta- in, a, in a court of law or uh, for any situation, they are now... Um, an agent that states that they've seen this item. Sure. And to find an appraiser, Barry, uh, is that something someone could do through you? Is that a service you offer? Well, we do offer. We are gemologists, numismatists. These are funny words, philatelists. I love that word. Um, and we, we really, uh, we're experts in stamps and coins and diamonds uh, and jewelry, even watches. And we do all this. I do advise people. Um, to ask other people about who they refer people to, I keep you know, and um, look on the internet, look for the American Society of Appraisers or the Appraisers Association of America or the National Association of Jewelry Appraisers, and these are all places you can get referrals. You can also check the Better Business Bureau, but under no circumstance do you ever want to go to an appraiser who charges a fee based upon an item's value. Hmm. Sounds unethical. It is totally unethical. Okay. And when you yeah. said philatelist, uh, I don't know why fiddle-faddle, someone who eats too much fiddle-faddle yeah. came to mind. Fiddle-faddle uh, and stamps. Right, right. Uh, yeah. But, uh, uh, again, uh, today the free verbal evaluation days are taking place at National Estate Jewelry Buyers, uh, so take advantage of that as well. And uh, a big three-day 50% off, uh, again, happening this week. Uh, that's going on uh, beginning Thursday, right, Barry? That is beginning Thursday, and we are and we have more and more objects in inventory every day. So we are working hard to create a, a real wholesale atmosphere. Um, I'll give you all, all the listeners a secret, though. Okay. If you, if you really want a great price and you pick a number of items, just ask to speak to me, and I'll do everything I can to make you happy. Wow. If I can do a little bit further on that, I will do it for anybody who asks. Very nice. So maybe someone who was at the store last week, they're going to come back this week, Barry, and there's going to be new and different things there. Just mention they heard me on WCTC, and they'll be, I'll give them a, a little further discount. I can't say another 50%. That would be shooting myself in the foot, but I'll do something. <laughs> and definitely, 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 there's many, many more things coming out. Well, good stuff. As always, uh, Barry Blank, great to speak with you, and we'll talk again uh, next Tuesday right here on WCTC, my friend. All right? All right. Thank you. All right, Barry Blank, uh, National Estate Jewel.